Hi guys, welcome back to fmatutorials.com. This is part two in the Psytrance feature we've been doing this month on FMA and in this tutorial I was going to show you how to make your own sequence bass sound in FMA using kind of envelopes really to make the sequence on that sound. So, so let's start off by creating a new sound here and just get the tone of the sound together using the operators. So I'm not going to use a filter for this sound, I'm just going to route all these operators straight to the output. So let's start with F here. And F can stay as a sine wave, take the ratio down to 0.5, but actually bring the ratio down a little bit further, 0.992. So it's just going to be detuned slightly, it's going to help sort of thicken the sound. Push the volume of this operator up to around 89. Let's pull this channel fader up for now just so I can hear this sound a bit more. Right, operator E next, turn that on and route this straight to the output around 37. Take the ratio to 0.5 and then just route E into F at about 19. Turn on operator D, can route this straight to the output as well, around 54. I'm going to make this a parabole waveform. So it's just adding a little bit more sort of top endy tone in there, 0.75 on the ratio. Turn on operator C next, and this is just going to route straight into D. 42. Keep this as a sign, keep the ratio at 1. And next up, operator B. Put this to the output around 40. Change the waveform to a short tristate. And take the ratio down to 0.25. Also root operator B into C at about 21. And root C back into B again at 31. Finally operator A, turn that on. And this is just going to feed back into some of these other operators. So I'm going to take the ratio down to 0.5. And push and feed it into B at about 10. And into D at 24. Into E at 35. And into F at 39. And I'm also going to feed A into itself at 36, C into itself at 14, D at 14, E at around 10, and F at 20. So let's move over to the master section next, make it sound monophonic, turn the voices up to 4, push the detune slider up slightly to around 25 and just pan the voices out a little bit, we don't want too much width because it's a bass sound essentially, and push this digital slider up to about 41. We've got quite a nice gritty bassy sound together now. Let's move over to the envelope section to kind of make that sound sequenced. So we can link all of these envelopes together, tempo sync them all. And move the sustain out so it's up here just on the 4 over 8 
and then we want to draw in our own customized envelope in this space make sure the mode's on fixed so we stay looping over this section Keep control clicking to add more envelope pointers. And keep previewing the sound as we're putting it, shaping it with these envelopes. got the sequenced element to our sound put together. The only thing I was going to change here was go over to envelope A, take this link button off and change this envelope so we've taken the volume down on some of these points here. Push the sustain of this last point here, push the sustain right up, make that a bit more plucky. And this is basically, this is the envelope what's feeding into these other operators here. So the final thing we're going to do with this sound is move over to the effects section just to polish it off. Put some overdrive in there, push the drive up to around 72, push the tone up to 100 and pull the bass down to around quarter of the way, so about 16. And push this volume up to around 57. Put a PQQ in there next and just bring up some of the highs and high mids. So the sound will cut through a mix a bit better with that top end in there. And final thing to add is a flanger. And just keep everything the same but just pull this dry wet down to around 10 or 11 so it's just a bit more subtle. And there's our sound come together. There's quite a lot of fluctuation on the volume and the character of the sound. I notice when I put it together, set this volume down here now. You can listen to it there. So the best way to use this in a track would definitely be to just kind of bounce a loop of it, bounce about eight bars of this sound, and just chop out the kind of tightest bar and just loop that over really as audio. So, but yeah, there's the sound come together there. So. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you found it useful, hopefully it's given you some insight into how to create your own sequence bass sounds in FMA. Any questions then please get in touch and thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon. Cheers, bye.